It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Chargers and the Silver and Black, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here, as it'll be the LA Chargers taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And off we go from Las Vegas. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So here comes the Raiders' offense now onto the field. And a glance here at the southpaw, who will be calling the plays under center. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment, running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. They begin to drive on the ground with Allen. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. On second down, this is Jackson. And he runs across the 20 to the 24-yard line. So much of the game today... We're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Las Vegas sending out their punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he has advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. Throwing his fouts. He finds his target, Allen. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. And we see the emphasis early here, get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says, 
our guy is better than your guy's. Because you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back-to-back. -back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now a second and six. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense to some big yardage. 41 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your O-line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Now second and three. Now Fouts. They'll get this one complete to Winslow. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone. But now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? And they'll run again. And he fights his way in for a Charger touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Chargers are on the board first here in Vegas. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And the Chargers grab the 7-0 lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. As always, no rooting interest here, but that was pretty, wasn't it? To see him break through 
and then pick up his stride. Yeah, the guy carrying the ball loves it. I think the O-line, they might like and take more satisfaction out of those runs than anybody else, though, right? Without a doubt, because they're the ones that often have created it. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. Now a handoff inside, it's Jackson. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. That is caught. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline. But what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a carry for Allen. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Toss play to Jackson. Left side, and he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. A great play there. 31 yards. And the Raiders are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Boy, a lot of space outside the numbers there, and he's able to take that toss all the way to the end zone. And that certainly felt like something they had studied on tape and wanted to test here early in the ball game. They thought they could get wide on these guys, and they thought it was worth taking a chance with this play call here in the first quarter. Definitely paid off in a big way. Point after, right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And a long run there in the end to top it off. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. Here's Fouts. He will find Winslow. That's complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. But he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Fouts. Gates with a grab. 
That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And now it's third and four. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Third and four. To throw his fouts. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted, and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense, and now they get to turn it back to their offense. On is the Chargers punter now, as he's on to kick it away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. And now here come the Raiders. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. On the give, here comes Jackson. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going into the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Here comes third down at seven. He'll drop to throw. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. The lessons will continue. I mean, this rookie, he's got to learn how to read situations just a little bit better. That far behind the line, he's got to find a way to get rid of the football and not take the sack, whether it's with his legs or just throwing it away. Here's the Raiders punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36 yard line. 51 yards on the punt there. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 36 yard line. Fouts to throw. The throw right side here going to be incomplete. Now a second and ten. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll get about three out of that up to the 39-yard line. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Yeah, the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Looking to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 36. They'll set up to throw. And they'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And this will leave him a yard short. 
Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Second and one. And quick throw here. That's complete. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And it's caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A good pick up there on 20 yards. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. They'll try and run it now the Spurs. And he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And picked up by the Chargers. And great field position coming up in the red zone at the 17-yard line. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. Charger football to start quarter number two as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. This second and four. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Here now, third and a yard. They'll set up a throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Chargers! from eight yards out. And the Chargers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Touchdowns on their first three possessions, and they're a PAT from going up 21-7. to seven. Yeah, very impressive the way that they've moved the football. Full command of their playbook, full command of the way they wanted to attack. Point after try, forthcoming. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat, make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. On play action, they'll throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. The Raiders on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. They'll look to throw. He'll hit Jackson complete. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Las Vegas sending out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Chargers will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it's second down. Back to throw here. Give him another one right back to Allen. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. 78 yards rushing for him now to this point. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Here Sproles. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Throwing his fouts. 
And that is caught. It's Winslow. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 23 yards, the final tally. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Now it's Sproles. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now Fouts toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. And his kick is indeed good. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. So three points there, and they continue to build this first-half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield and get the ball in his hands in open space. And just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. I think if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. And they'll come up second and seven. They'll run again with Jackson. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top unsuccessfully. Here's the Raiders punter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. 
He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Now back to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. The offense on third down tonight. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 14. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 36. Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions and they're taking advantage of it. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 36. Here's Fouts. And Winslow brings it in over the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Sproles. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. That time a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? And once again, they go with Sproles. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. Second and goal from the one. Eckler looking for a signal, but none forthcoming. They stopped him shy of the goal line. They're held again, and do we have a goal line stand brewing? It's third and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. Third and goal, here's the option left. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They're going to run. It's Sproles. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. A great effort there. 
with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers are able to add on to their first half lead. Well, this defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. The extra point splits the uprights, and the route is on here in this first half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it, and it'll be second down. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. He's got Brown on the out route complete. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Now they got to get to the line quickly. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. They'll look to throw again. It's Jackson again on the reception. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second down and four. Back to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Las Vegas sending out their punter now. He's been terrific so far. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. The Chargers are going to take over now late in this first half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. Get 
to throw his fouts. He will find Winslow on the left side complete. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Fouts to throw. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Fouts. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. They're going to look to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. They'll set up to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Give him four yards there, and that should be the final play of this first half. So we have reached halftime intermission with the visiting Chargers on top. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, this Coach, was an extremely one-sided first half. We welcome One you team back showed up, ready to go. Three. The other's been in a daze thus far. But there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And some room to work. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 
117 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. They just look like they're having fun out there. Big lead. There's another big play on the big run. I mean, they can't be stopped. I'm a little bit older than you, as you well know, partner, and you tend to tell me that all the time. But uh, there used to be a big time song, and the lyric was, summertime and the living is easy. Right now, it's football time, and the running is easy for this crew. They'll look to throw now on first down. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild, and here's another completion for good yardage. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. On play action, they'll throw. He's got Allen. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. This just 32 yards officially from the right hash. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history, and that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there, but you know maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When to, when to go ahead and flush from the pocket and run. When to get rid of the football and not take the sack. When to just go ahead and go down early and make sure you don't, make sure you don't fumble the football. So many things that he has to learn. This game starts the process. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. That's laid out deep for Rice. And unable to connect, incomplete. 
Uh, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Here's the Raiders punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. L.A. readies for its next possession. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yep. Run what Put you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Throwing his fout. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Pass taken in by his big tight end. A big play there for L.A. 43 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now Fouts. And his throw is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. 121 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Here is third down and four. Now back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. Third and four, he did just enough. And I mean, just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described. And he was able to do just that. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. They'll look to throw. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. A great play there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chargers have got it on cruise control. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. 
A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Extra point attempt to follow here. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And not a good return here at all, as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. And this is a situation where as a head coach, you're just saying, what else could go wrong? Let's get it all out of our system, please. This has been a sloppy game throughout. The execution has been lacking. A lot of mistakes, both mental and physical. And here's a big play that goes by the wayside. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long, but a nice throw there for a good gain and a first down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he's going to be taken to the ground right there at the 35-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. A lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. They go play action here on first down. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit. Had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll look to throw here. Now oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And now the rookie's free. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Here's Fouts. This is caught. Touchdown. Keenan Allen. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare. Four yards there, and it's second down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes. Blitz coming and down he goes. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. So one quick easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally <laughs> is. Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Allen here on the screen. Oh, look at the juke. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Sproles, the return. That'll be a 49-yard punt, six yards there on the return. Getting set to go again here on offense, Keenan Allen marches back onto the field. And we get a peek at the kind of game he's having. It's been a good game. Eight catches now, Charles. Everyone likes to spread the ball around. They want a lot of people to catch it and touch it, get a lot of guys involved. But sometimes when you have the hot hand or a person who is just really taking care of business in their part of the field, you have to keep going back to them. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. Little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. They'll look to throw here on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. 
And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. That one good for 13 and a charger first. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games for whatever reason. Their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats, the 11 guys trying to tackle him on defense. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And on that last catch, Charles, he tops the 150-yard mark. It's one thing when your wideout gets that. When your tight end gets it, it's quite another. We keep seeing the evolution of that position, don't we? We've seen where it's gone from strictly as a blocker to a guy who caught a few passes to now an integral part of the passing game, sometimes the primary receiver, because a lot of these guys have wide receiver skills. And we're seeing that on display here. Just think about the guys of the past looking back at this game and saying, sure wish that was me. I'd love to have gone out for those types of passes. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. There they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the night. And the Chargers get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. For the fourth quarter, we'll begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point, where we're at in the fourth quarter, with how wide this advantage is, for this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of sour notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. And that one's gonna be off target and incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. The Raiders on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and ten. Back to throw again. 
And he is caught. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. Well, a touchdown here on this drive, it wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now. But as you've mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking for replacements. Treat every drive as if it's your last and make it a successful one in some small way. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And it's a fumble. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners kind of know. <laughs> but I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. Let's see if he can do it. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it, the vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Partner in the sportsmanship handbook, there's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL and it's their job to stop them whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. Fouts. And that will be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. On is the Chargers punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch signal for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Yeah. 
Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. He'll look to throw. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he is going to have the Raiders first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four and he got four on third down. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's caught out left side by Casper. Just a gain of a couple there, and it'll be second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? They'll look to throw again. He's going deep for Brown. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think that part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Las Vegas sending out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And they will take over first and 10. The Chargers offense gets set, they head back onto the field. We've paid this offense plenty of compliments already, but I mean, they are deserving as they start another series to be leading by this much with so much time left to play in the fourth. Charles, it's really, really been impressive to watch. It has been, and you have to think to yourself, the preparation that went into this, but the absolute focus that they kept throughout in order to have this kind of a result, this is Super Bowl-esque, and they've got to feel awfully good about what they put out there today. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. Brett, and every great running backs coach that I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second down and eight. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. 
After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? On third down, they're and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. In today's NFL, most teams don't have as many goals for the game like we used to have where you checked off your boxes. But zero turnovers, that, that's a universal. And while it won't likely cost them in this game, they're going to regret the fact that they cough one up here. How much they had mistake-free football prior. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. But that's just a minor blip here in what's been a thoroughly dominating performance. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, OK, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. They'll look to throw now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Rice. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On play action, they'll throw. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field like that. They're going to be set up with a first and goal. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Over the middle, complete. Tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That's good for a gain of six. Second and goal. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Second and three. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They're looking at a fourth and goal here as they search for a late score. Oh. 
On now is the field goal team. Here is the Raiders. Will try for three. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll begin the drive with Sproles. Shedding the tackler, and it gives him some room. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he gets it up past the 35. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. They'll run it with Sproles. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Las Vegas.